In this video, we're going to look at all the different kinds of ways that money can be compounded. Up till now, we've only looked at, well, we've typically only looked at compound yearly, but money can be compounded monthly, daily, semi-annually, quarterly, but that'll all become more clear as we proceed through this video. So here we have a guy called Kajiso, and he starts an investment with a deposit of 20,000 Rand. Then the interest rate that this financial institution offers well that's going to change for the first two years it says here year one and year two it will be seven percent per annum uh, I should actually just fix it up quickly yeah I just added compound interest there just so that people don't feel it might be simple interest year three and four eight percent compounded monthly year five and then year six so it's a six-year investment let's see how that works so remember one of the videos on a guy called Vusi we showed that when the interest rate changes, you can simply add all the brackets next to each other. I'm just going to remind you about that quickly. So let's just look at year one and year two for now. We know that we can just use this formula. It's compounded yearly if they don't mention anything else. So we can just say he starts off with 20,000 Rand and he's going to earn 7%. Now, in the previous videos, I would often say 7 over 100. But I'm going to start doing it in a slightly different way. I'm going to write out 7 over 100 is 0 0.07. So I'm just going to write it like that for now, and it's more comfortable for me. And that's for two years. Okay, and that would give Vusi, no, no, this question's Kajiso. That's going to give him a total of, nice round number, 22,000. 898 Rand. So this is how much Kajiso will have after two years. What interest rate would he then use? Well, it tells us that he's in year three and four, so for the next two years, it's going to be compounded monthly. Okay, so we're going to use the same formula, but remember we said that if it's not yearly, we should upgrade it with this little value over here, where this number here is the amount of times that it compounds in a year. So if you're compounding every single month, that means you're doing it 12 times per year. So going into the next two years, what's the starting amount? Well, it's not 20,000 anymore because he's it's grown up to 22,898. And the interest rate is now going to be 8%, which is the same as 0 0.08, divided by. It's going to compound 12 times per year for a total of 24 times, because it's year 3 and year 4. So that's year 3 will be 12, and year 4 will be 12. So that's 24 times in total. And let's see what that gives them. And yes, I am doing this the slow way. Some of you at home might be thinking why I'm doing it the slow way. I'm just trying to... I'm going to show you the fast way as well. I'm just trying to make sure everybody understands. And that gives a total value of 26,856.787. I'm just going to put the first three decimal places on the calculator because that's not the final answer. Okay, so now going into year five, they're going to change the interest rate to 9% compounded quarterly. That means every quarter of the year. So that means four times per year. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to use the same formula where he now has 26,856.787. One plus the interest rate is 9%. So that's 0 0.09. Four times per year. And how many years will the interest rate be like this? Well, it's only for year five, so it's only for one year. So how many times will it compound in that one year? Well, that's also going to be four times. And if you work that out, you're going to get a value of 29,356.705. And then for year six, they're going to go at 7% compounded semi-annually. Annually means per year, so semi-yearly means every six months, right? So how many times will that be in one year? Well, that's twice. So we can use the same formula again, where Kajito now has 29,356.705. One plus, it's going to be 0 0.07, two times in that year. And how many years will the interest rate be like that? Well, only for two years, I mean, only for one year. So how many times is it going to compound in each each year well that's twice but because it's only 
because that interest rate is only going to be valid for one year, then it means this number here will also be a 2. Okay, And if you go work that out, your final answer is going to be 31,447.64 Rand. But now that was the slightly longer way. This, uh, what I'm going to show you next is very quick. Remember the question on the, or the video that we did with VUSI? We said that if the interest rate changes, instead of calculating your value each time, you can just do it in one step like this. So he starts off with 20,000 Rand. And the first interest is 7%. Uh, that's yearly. So we can put a little one there if you want to. It doesn't really matter. And that was for two years. Then instead of getting this answer and then using it for the next part, so you know, we would in the next part we would have used this formula again, and you would have taken this answer and you would have used that over there, right? So instead of working this out, let's just leave it like the way it is. So we don't it, it just works out a lot faster. So all we do now is we just open up the next bracket and we say 1 plus, and now we're looking at year 3 and 4, which is 8% compounded monthly. So that means there's a 24 there, because it's 12 times per year, which is 24 times if it's for 2 years. Then instead of working anything out, we just open up the next bracket, which is going into year 5, and that's 9% compounded quarterly. So you just do this. And for how many years are we going to compound quarterly? Well, only one year. So that means we'll put a 4 there as well. And then the last part is 7% semi-annually. And that's also only going to be for one year. So we'll just put a little 2 there. Because if you're compounding for one year, it means you're going to compound a total of two times in that year if it's compounding semi-annually. Then you can take that and put all of that on the calculator in one step and you'll still get the same answer.